There are things in Power Rangers that are an essential part of this franchise and there are other elements that basically became a tradition. These things have been implemented for 30 years and we don't know if they are going to change them in the reboot. We also don't know if changing some of these things would affect the series since we are basically used to seeing all these things almost all the time. The first habit since the beginning of the franchise is that the team leader was almost always the Red Ranger. This was made that way since in the beginning of the Japanese series as the Red Ranger was the representation of Japan. We know we had some leaders of other colors, but usually the leader was the Red Ranger, and this became a tradition. This has gotten to the point that many fans don't want the leader to be any other color. In fact, this is so important that the news that Amelia was the new Red Ranger and leader of the team shocked many fans. Possibly if she had become the leader of the team, but without having changed her color, maybe the news would not have had the same impact. With the reboot, we don't know if this habit will continue, but it would be an important change to play with the colors as this has always been a theme in the Power Rangers. There are colors that have not been used as much and it would be nice to see them in the series. There are even colors that have never been leaders of a team and this small change alone could shock a lot of fans. An example of this is the color orange as this color has not been used much in the series and is a color that would possibly have great visual impact. Perhaps, if you are not that much of a Power Rangers fan, you will think that this color thing is pretty silly, and in reality, it is. Despite this, for many fans this is very serious and possibly in the comments some are going to be very upset because for them the color theme is very important. Even, the issue of colors has reached the point of gender battles since, for example, there has never been a pink male ranger. We know that this is something that has been seen in the comics, but it has never been seen in the TV series. We know that this gender issue is very extensive and is something quite rare as the Power Rangers has always been very inclusive these past few years. This has also affected the leaders and team members as women are always in the minority. We know that the Power Rangers was always aimed at a child audience and usually had more male fans. Because of this, is that there are always more men than women in all the teams and there are also fewer female leaders. Honestly, I would like to see this change in the reboot because now the target audience for the franchise is adults and we don't mind seeing more women than men on a team. I obviously don't mean this in a sexist way, but for adults this is not important and for us it is the same to have a male leader or a female leader. Another important habit is the format of the series as they have always taken the same path in every season. In fact, Cosmic Fury was the first season to break with this cycle and is possibly the definitive proof that this is what they should do in the reboot. The format of the series has always been, the villain wants to destroy the rangers, he creates a monster, the rangers confront him, he becomes giant, and the rangers destroy him with the Megazord. Each episode is a new story, but repetitive at the same time, and in the background, there is a side story that slowly progresses. This was obviously the old format for the series and even though many franchises stopped using that format a long time ago, Power Rangers had never changed this. Possibly this is one of the major purposes for having done the reboot as this is one of the things that should have changed a long time ago and in Cosmic Fury we had the opportunity to see a new format. The modern format is that each episode is tied together with the next episode and the story continues to move forward. At the end of each episode, you are supposed to be shown some scene that leaves you wanting to see the next episode to find out what will happen. This is precisely what caused this format to be a success and of course, with the advent of digital platforms this is necessary. 
The way we watched the series before the arrival of digital platforms was different because you had to wait until the next day for a new episode and sometimes until the following week. Now you can watch all the episodes whenever you want and that's when you can notice the repetitive factor. If every episode has the same format and you watch three episodes in a row, then you're going to feel like you've seen the same thing. We couldn't feel that before because we had to wait a day or a week, so we didn't feel like we were repeating the same thing. Another thing that has become a habit since the fourth season of Power Rangers is to change everything every year. When the Power Rangers started, they didn't think they were going to be this successful, so they never thought they would have multiple seasons. After they had done over 100 episodes, they realized that the scenes from Japan with the Mighty Morphin costumes were running out and they had to find a solution to this. What they did was buy other scenes with other costumes and start changing the name and characters for each season. They changed this every year, so every year we've had a new series, with a new name, new characters, a different theme, and a story that doesn't relate to the previous season. We know there are series that have had two seasons, but no Power Ranger series has lasted more than three seasons. The important thing about this is that the stories between each season were not related, and even though they have always tried to achieve this by using the multiverse and time travel, they still never got it right. As part of the reboot, they can correct this mistake from the beginning and start connecting all the seasons so that it is one story despite there being several different teams. I know many are going to say that the Power Rangers seasons were connected, but if you want to know the true connection of many stories, you should read the comics. There are multiverses, time travel, many teams, and everything is connected. That is a real connection thought from the beginning and now after so much time you can see the results. Even some information says that the movies and the series are going to be connected in this reboot. The last thing we read is that the script that was made for the new movie was used for the series since the series is more important. This lets us know that everything is going to be one story. Everything is going to be connected and we are possibly going to have more movies in less time. This is going to be something spectacular since unfortunately the Power Rangers franchise always ignored the movies. The proof of this is that in 30 years we only had 3 official movies and 2 of these movies are not even part of the canon. Which means that these 2 movies had no relation to the TV series, and this is not what we fans want. It was very unfortunate that they let lose a movie like the 1995 movie that had a great story and one of the best villains of all time. Write in the comments any Power Rangers habit that should be changed in the reboot, like this video and subscribe to make it a habit to watch Power Rangers videos.